Welcome again to another PRISM tutorial video. Today we'll discuss manual focus. Focus in astronomy is the fact of moving your camera or eyepiece in and out. This is using the focus knob that's on your telescope. You can do this manually or you can do this with an electronic focuser using the hand controller that comes with it or software like PRISM. So let's take an image and see what we have. First we find the camera control panel down here. Let's take a 5 second ex exposure at binning 2x2 two two to see what we have. Here's an image with 5 seconds exp of exposure and binning 2x2. Two two. Let's go to Observatory, Focus in Actions, Manual Focus, and let's pick a target. Let's pick a target that's not too dim or too bright. These crosshairs are what PRISM uses to identify what objects you're going to click on the image. So we'll choose the star at the bottom. PRISM has two main focusing methods in it. Star focusing, which uses a star and calculates a centeroid, or any object focusing, which uses FFT intercalation. This means that PRISM can focus on a sunspot on the sun, it can focus on a crater on the moon, or it can focus on planets. This is especially useful if you want to get the sharpest state of the image without any identifying features, if you would, like a sunspot or a crater. You can select any re region of the image and PRISM will focus on it. For now, however, we'll start, we'll select star focusing. Press OK. PRISM will subframe on the star that we used and will be taking five second exposures. To speed things up a little bit, I'm gonna lower this to three seconds and press enter. From these metrics here, you see that the star measures 2.37 pixel or 2.4 arc second. This sign here is for arc second. We can invoke the focuser control panel down here. And use the manual controls on it to move the focuser in and out. For this instance, I will use the 100 focuser steps. So let's move the focuser inward and see what we get. So the focuser has moved 100 steps. As you can see, the star now measures 3 pixels wide, 3.29 in pixels. If I move inward, more or another hundred steps the star will get bigger now it measures four pixels wide let's go back the other way outward the star is sharper now 3.14 pixel 2.87 even let's try to go outward one more time Two point three nine. Even further, uh, note that this is where we started. Two point six three. Three point three pixels. Notice the graphs that PRISM is using to show you a visual indication of what's going on. Full width half maximum major axis, full width half maximum minor axis, and half flux diameter. You can use these graphs to know which way your focus is going. As we have noticed, when the star gets bigger, the numbers go lower. 
when the star gets sharper, the graph goes higher. Let's go back to 1626 steps and see what happens. Let's go backwards 100 steps. Two point five seven pixel. Bear in mind that we are fighting scene conditions as well, so these fluctuations are going to happen over time. If you'd like a further, uh, a more enhanced view of the statistics, you can go to the Advanced tab here. Now you'll be presented with a lot more information if you need it, like your pixel scale, your angle, your HDF and the measurements in arc seconds here, as well as all other me measurements in this tab as well. Manual focus is a good tool to have if, for example, you have a new system and you would like to focus manually to achieve the best numbers first. This will help you identify what focus or step do you, do, you, do you use to see where the sharpest picture is that you get from your system? For example, you can move it manually until it gets sharp and you can take a note of, of that and then you can build an autofocus run off of the number you found. That becomes your middle point of the focus and run. This concludes our lesson about manual focus. This is the first lesson in the series of videos about autofocus. We will discuss automatic focus in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.